Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful day. It's a beautiful month, a month of love. And so we are learning how to love the unlovable. You know, love is not about only being loved, but also to dispense love. And so we've been talking about loving the unlovable. So today I decided to talk to parents about raising lovable children. And so I tagged it, how to raise unlovable children. Because we now find out that a lot of us come from homes and sometimes it's what we have received from our homes that we come into the larger society and begin to dispense. You see people in churches, angry people, judgmental people, people who are not lovable. They are from homes. The Bible says, I mean, it, yes, the Bible says that charity begins at home and charity is love. Love begins at home. So sometimes people don't love because they were not loved. And in the book of Colossians, in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 21, it says, parents do not embitter your children or they will become discouraged. Do not embitter your children or they will become discouraged. And so we want to pray that we will not raise unlovable children. And so this is how to raise it, unlovable children. Number one, by not disciplining them. When you don't discipline a child is the fastest way to bring up a bitter child, an unlovable child, a spoiled child that is ungrateful, thankless, bitter, because they get their way all the time. They are bitter whenever authority does not give them what they want. And we find that in schools, we find that in churches, you see people going from one church to the other because they have been disciplined. When they discipline you here, you move to another church. And that's because of their background, their foundation is not proper. Remember, scripture says that Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far from him. So parents must drive out foolishness, which is sin, drive it out from their children by disciplining them. Number two, quickly, by abusing them or giving them improper discipline. There are some of us parents who abuse these children either verbally or physically. We sow seeds of anger and hatred in the hearts of these children. And you know, when you sow anger in the heart of a child, it's very difficult for you to remove. These, these unlovable people are being, you know, they are trying to unlearn this character that was bettered from their foundation. I remember trying to settle a marital issue one day and, you know, at a point the wife asked me to um, see her alone, that can her husband excuse her. And when she, he went out, she broke down and began to cry. She said, this was the only thing I saw at growing up. I saw my mother insulting my father. And so I learned it. And this is the only thing I know. She was helpless and she said, please, mama, teach me. And so we must learn how to tell these children nice things, not to abuse them until they start abusing other children. Remember, the abused abuse. Number three, by neglecting them. You know, we have become so busy as parents that we neglect these children. We don't go for their, 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 their you know, parents' day. We don't go when they are playing their football or they are acting their drama. And many times, you know, these children become bitter, you know, because their parents are not around and they lack love and affection, causing them to grow unlovable. They become unlovable people in the society and they get angry with people who talk about love. Love, say, what, what, what's that, you know? Unfortunately, most of us work long hours trying to chase after money and leaving the real important thing, which is our children, which is our future. These children are our, our posterity and so we, should be careful not to hurt these children emotionally and spiritually because uh, sadly the society has have a lot of um, children who are 
you know, embittered. They are not happy. Number four, by encouraging them and showing them affection. Encourage them and show them affection. When you discipline with this hand, you um, encourage with this hand. Number five, you see, um, parents raise unlovable children by showing favoritism between the children, you know. So you see sibling rivalry, and this happens a lot in polygamous homes where this mother is telling this one this, and this mother is telling this one this, and you see envy and jealousy. And at the end of the day, they hate each other and they don't love. Love is now lost. I want to encourage us as parents that the Lord help us hold our hands, that these hands will not be feeble to fire these arrows to their targets. Let these arrows be fired properly to their targets. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen.